Do you know what I mean? We're surrounded by main roads, rivers, or motorways. So you've got the exit at the bottom and the entrance, just two ways kind of thing. So my mum's on here, I'm living on here, and my children and my grandchildren are living on here. My name's Dawn Bannon. I've been here 45 years. I think it's absolutely wonderful and I feel so safe walking on here. Nice, very nice, lovely. The kids are well looked after, aren't they? And looked after it like over the sanctuary and people care. Yeah, they do. People yeah. care a lot. It's never, uh, it's, it's never been a bad place to live on. It's the flats that they did here. Uh, there was like pig pens, on not there? Nobody wants you to live in a flat, so why did they build them in the first place? Everybody's got a different attitude, everybody loves the Vale, but I, I don't know anybody who dislikes the Vale. It was once one of the most notorious estates in the Midlands. Castle Vale during the late 70s and 80s was synonymous with crime, tower blocks and unemployment. Thanks to the people who live there, the estate's been transformed in the past two decades. Castle Vale was meant to be an urban utopia. Birmingham's biggest post-war estate of 34 tower blocks was a place families could escape the slums. The estate had risen from the airfield where Spitfires had been tested during the war. You had people in hoodies that people were afraid of, but you had to overcome that and step together and say, we're going to do something. Everywhere has its good and bad. Um, I've had 40 years on Castlevale and I wouldn't go anywhere else. People can see how much has been done here now and um, how nice you know, everything is now. People were queuing up to get out of Castle Vale. Now they're queuing up to get into Castle Vale. It's a community rebuilt and transformed. What's happened here in Castle Vale over the last couple of decades, the changes this place has seen is really a monument to people power. You look out the window and um, you didn't see many people. Very rarely seen cars. Um, but what you did see occasionally was a train that kind of like went past and you, and you could hear it, you could hear it come in so everybody would run to the window when you hear it come in and kind of like watch the train go past and then kind of like as the years went on um, trees were planted because the Vale Passover started to develop and trees were planted and houses started being built and then you found that like you'd see one or two cars and then you'd see people and the houses got bigger and then the trees got taller until eventually then you couldn't see the, uh, the railway anymore and you couldn't hear the railway anymore. The only time you can hear the railway now is when it's really, really quiet in the night and the windows are open. They built Castle Vale and then totally forgot about Castle Vale and the people that lived on Castle Vale. There was still a real sense of community though. There was still a real sense of, of people and people looked out for each other. One night, went on a bike ride to the bank, 12 o'clock. I thought, yeah, let me go to the bank, I need to go to the shop, get some fags, blah, blah, blah. Um, got my bike, and I had the chain came off, the chain came off the bike, so I was like, oh, bloody hell, what's going on here? So I put the chain back on, and out of the corner of my eye, I could see a shadow just moving, so I'm like, what's that? So I looked around, and it was a fox, and a fox started to follow me. So I stopped the bike again, and I was like, what's he doing? Because like, I was intrigued, because I had seen a fox before, it's not the first time I've ever seen a, a fox. But I was very intrigued to see what this fox was doing. Anyway, jumped back on my bike, carried on riding. This fox chased me. And when I tell you this fox chased me, I was on the bike. I started sprinting down Watton Green, around the corner. And that is one of the funniest moments I've had on Castle Road because I actually got chased by a fox. I was, I was petrified. <laughs> and, and when I tell people this story, people seem to think, oh, you're a wimpy or what's but. It was just the fact that the fox followed me and it kept and it didn't stop following me so it caused me to ride my bike faster and faster and being a youth worker um, i spoke to some of the kids and i was like you live around Button green and before i even said what i was saying they already knew the story i was going to tell them about the fox and the foxes also followed them and chased them as well so it's something that is very I grew up on Castle Castle Castle. Castle. Like, i've been here my whole life and i used to come to the sanctuary when i was younger I don't know, it still has that kind of stigma to it, like it's, it, it's a bad area, but I don't find it like that. I've grew up here my whole life and I've never been hurt by anyone. I've never really felt threatened by anyone. And, and I see it as quite a close-knit community.
community.